like, well, me and Joe was like, well, we're going to talk about stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, uh, you guys are in Port Townsend yeah. for this steam hunt uh, uh, like, like, event. Man. We are visiting family and we saw this walking down the street and was like, whoa, I love steampunk. My wife and I, we like to, and kids, we like to dress up, cosplay every now and again. So, Hi, and thank you for the beautiful flowers. Thank you. Yeah, this is an awesome event. I love all the costumes. I'm in the costume design myself. So we just happen to luck out and be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. That's really nice. Right there's some costumes. Yeah. It's so amazing. All the different like armor and leather, robotic arms. We're just missing the flying ships with all the steam and everything. <laughs> they pick everybody up. Well, thank you for being on my TV show, a public interest issues show. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> Do you like rainbows? Here. Oh, how wonderful! Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 um, but this you know. Thank you. Thank you. So, so thank you, honey, for being on my show. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, honey, for being on my show. And thank you, guys. You're welcome. on your yeah. hat. Thank you. I, I can't make little art because, well, they, you know, they do say that 99.9% .9 of art is the only one to stop, and I have a <laughs> real problem with that part. <laughs> <laughs> Always have. It starts out as something small, and then it snowballs, like the 18 yards of fabric it took to put all this together. Yes. You know, yes. this yes. started life as a silk curtain. Oh, <laughs> lovely. I love that. That is a pair of curtains back yes, here, yeah. too. You know, you, you make use of what you have. Yeah. Um, this was the the fabric that's underneath here is another complete costume that I don't wear anymore. You know, it's like the <clears throat> 25 pandemic pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Did you make your octopus? Sure. The octopus? No. The octopus, the octopus came from a, a marine center in Virginia. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Love it. And my daughter found the moon signature up there 
down along Hood Canal when she was a Girl Scout camp. Ah. A few years back. And then the earrings. Are you getting the earrings too? And my pieces of eight. That's from Mel Fisher's uh, uh, discovery in Florida of the Atocha, the Spanish galleon that ah. sunk in 1534. And these are made out of the bars of silver that they brought up. Oh. And then stamped like a piece of eight. Very nice. And how about your outfit? Your necklace is the remarkable. Necklace is, I'm getting so many comments here. It's really kind of, you look at it, but then look what this does. It's oh, all, yes. you can twist it any way you like. That's so and cool. And decide how you want it. I don't want it. It just, but I've got, had more comments on this. It's just been really fun, fun, fun thing to have. And this yeah. lovely hat I got down at uh, Pantheon three or four years ago. Complete with all its little medicine bottles and everything. So. <laughs> Which, of course, are full of everything. Oh, of course. Oh, of it's fun. a mini wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. And he'd give coordinates to her, and then she was like, she moved the blimp over. <laughs> so he was kind of like, yeah, he's like the target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was called 1847 or something. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you guys look literally like you. Yeah. He's a bunch of uh, silver tip crossbow. Dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you guys ever heard of Vampire Hunter D? Oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's that's kind of like a vamp. Style, but the weapons kind of feel very uh, similar with the vampires. A lot of the anime goes go straight to the same time. Yeah. This is so it's cool, cool, man. It's very cinematic. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, it's super, super awesome. Yeah, I've been uh, I'm a world builder for Blizzard, uh, 3D world builder, and so. Yeah, whenever I see the like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's so cool. I mean, Gray is a. Uh, yeah, we. Um, so the games that I've, I've made, that I've been, I've been make was uh, Half-Life 2, uh, Team Fortress, Counter Strike, and then uh, EA worked on James Bond: Rush with Love, Lord of Rings. Wow. Then worked with Kojima on Metal Gear Solid 5, and then uh, Blizzard. Which we made, um, and mostly just like you're in the creative world building. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I do, I do 3D concepts and then uh, 3D world building modeling. Like so, I build off these worlds, and I work with uh, concept artists, and characters will be derived from the world that we create. And so, um, yeah. What, what art do you, do you do art to go with that? So yeah, so like I'll do concept paintings, sketches, and then uh, we'll look at them with other concept artists who are far better than me. Um, and then we'll build it in 3D space, and then we'll bring that into our 3D engine, and then like an engine we were using like Unreal, uh, okay. Unreal 5, and, or yeah. And then so we'll basically work with content designers and um, story writers, IP writers, and we just build our world. And depending on the style of gameplay, so the game I was telling you guys about is a third person where you see the dude or do that, the girl, you know. With, looking like you guys yeah. walking around with all the gear because what's so cool to us is when you guys just do a basic walk all this stuff moving around and then the action of it you know like everything you would have to do to get your gear to work like you said all this like the, it blows out air so like what is that doing to make that air happen and then all the things around it so like let's say you get yourself corn you got blow a wall out um this pack behind it may kick up a bunch of dust and have to lot of stuff over you know and then you, you need to like hold it down you know and so we like to exaggerate stuff around, so like you wouldn't move bricks or anything, but it could look super cool if you know, you're blasting. So maybe you got different gears. So you got a light mode, light mode, and then you got an extra side of this building down. Yeah. You know, so, sorry, I really get it. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. And so you guys do all you guys do all the sound effects too. Like, yeah. Everybody keeps no higher gears and stuff. Well, I really like the when they first boot up some equipment and there's like a like a, a you know, ratcheting noise. Thank like, you. I'm a TV producer. Okay. <laughs> your TV. I'm doing a TV show. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay. We you know, like when they do it, when they boot up like a steampunk device, it's like a yeah. you know, there's like, there's like a, you know, it ratchets up. Yeah. Those kind of noises are really awesome. So, yeah, like, so audio engineers, like, they, they would geek out and just, uh, 
ride forks and spoons or like a lawnmower or like go near a train and hear it here, turn on and kick another, off. Another way for a dress to be a fellow artist. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, like the stuff you put, so you guys hand built this stuff? Yeah. Man, that is so impressive. You tell from the duct tape? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but it feels, it feels real, real world. Like it, it feels like it could work. I like to, like, they're, 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 like, they're steampunk where, you know, you, you put a, you put a gear on it. And, yeah. And that was, like, I think years ago a lot of people Yeah, you just stick a gear that. and it's like, like, oh, yeah, steampunk. But I like to, like, when I design this, I just, like, think there's got to be a purpose. Like, I can't just put yeah. a thing on it and expect that to be it. Yeah. I yeah. would be like, no, I have a dial on here. Yeah. And I know that when it's in the red, yeah. it's really dangerous. Yeah. And what's but also... It's, it's always in it. You're also, the clothes you're wearing too, it seems like not only does your gear work, but the outfit you wear will keep you protected from yes. whatever you're about to do. Eyes to protect. Nice. Oh, dude. Yeah, I mean, this is a rodeo shirt, so I thought about having some kind of like like insert yeah. like a chest protector of some kind but I never turn around. Wow. But basically this is just a double duck. So wow. Extra fabric. And then um then the goggles are very important because um for several reasons the, the, the firing out of these uh mm -hmm. cannons can be uh cause shrapnel you know, Wow pieces. of course. Um and you know just uh stuff to fly around so you don't want to get that in your eyes. Yeah. Um, have, like several filters so oh, that's sick, switch dude. out. Yeah, put on. I can imagine like if there's dust everywhere, you can't see through it. So maybe there's something else you can do to help you see it. Yeah. Wow. How about what, what do they got on? <laughs> it looks awesome too, man. <laughs> they are basically. So the spirit of a cat has been brought and put into this face like a robot. Oh. But a, but a yeah. Sort of. They, they designed the. The schematics and the whole idea of like before even like starting with the costume. Whoa! Yeah. The costume actually looked a lot different, but uh -huh. I had to use my emergency uh, normal clothing costume because uh -huh. of how uncomfortable it was. <laughs> Dude! Yeah. Whoa! It's magnets. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they go on here? Um. Yep. yep. Yeah, let me... Oh, I got it. So, uh, yeah, the hair is the most complicated part. Yeah, yeah, right. Trust me, I, uh, with, with dreads, yeah, knocks up a lot of space. Yeah, <laughs> it's not as easy. Yeah. Thank you. I just shaved the side, so <laughs> make sure I can wear <laughs> Well, it fits in my hat. <laughs> Aiden, oh, wow. check, it, check out his Dude, babe, look. Janice. Or maybe you can Wow. You really did a great job. Oh, right? that's wonderful. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. Is it like magnet? Oh, man, you got some fun. Nice. And you designed it? No, no. They designed it. You, they designed it? I would never have thought of the magnets. That was oh. brilliant. <laughs> yeah, neither would I. And I love the eyes with the target. Yeah. Wow. Can you Dang. see good in there? Uh, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. The redesign probably. <laughs> you can't see right.